This episode is brought to you by the biggest real-time strategy game on a fully persistent MMO galaxy, Nova Saturno. Play against thousands of other players in an endless universe of galaxies where your strategic decisions have real consequences. Coming this spring, you can help back Nova Saturno on Kickstarter or learn more at novasaturno.com. Hey guys, I'm Kyle Taylor. Disney has announced a new free-to-play game set in the Star Wars universe to be developed by new studio Area 52 Games in conjunction with LucasArts and Disney Interactive. The game will center around customizing and upgrading your own ship, then taking it into dogfights of up to 16 players for some epic space battle action. The game will include well-known Star Wars universe ships like the Rebel Alliance X-Wing Fighter and the Empire's TIE Interceptor, and new ships and items will be added to the game on a monthly basis. There's no release date set for the game yet, but they have open signups for a beta program which is scheduled to begin next year. Next up, DayZ only became available as an alpha build yesterday as part of Steam's early access program, but already more than 150,000 players have jumped in to get their zombie on in its first 24 hours. DayZ was originally created as a mod for Arma 2 until the modders decided to spin it into a full game. They announced their intentions in August 2012 and hoped to release it before the end of that year, but it has since suffered multiple, multiple delays. It's still not technically out, at least not as a finished product, but Steam's early access feature allows those who pre-ordered it through the service to participate in alpha and beta versions of the game since the developers have chosen to allow it. So it's basically like pre-ordering and getting to play a rough version immediately, which isn't half bad if you're the impatient type, like me. And while we're on the subject of mods that have become full games, Valve has announced that they're opening up Dota 2 and letting the gamer hordes run wild with the game. As we have recently completed a set of server management upgrades as well as released a huge number of enhancements to the new user experience, we're going to remove all restrictions to playing Dota 2, the team says. Since the game exited its closed beta period in July, they've had restrictions in place to limit the game's availability, like required signups and a queue system, and they've been gradually increasing the number of players as they scaled the hardware. Even under these restrictions, the game has had 6.5 million users playing every month and it will be interesting to see how the number leaps with the new public availability. Those interested in playing the game can get it free via Steam. Last but not least, Steam has discounted Just Cause 2 by 80% following the release of the long-anticipated multiplayer mod for the game. Just Cause 2 was developed by Avalanche and published by Square Enix and Eidos Interactive in March 2010. In the game, you play an agent ordered to track down and eliminate your friend and mentor in the island paradise of Panau, and the 400 square miles of terrain becomes your extreme sports playground. The game was well known for its free roaming mayhem and adrenaline rush stunts, and that's cool and all, but a group of modders decided it'd be much more fun if it had multiplayer as well, so they set out to make that happen. Fast forward to yesterday, and the mod has finally been released free via the website or via Steam, allowing up to 5,000 players to hop into the same server and go nuts skydiving and racing vehicles. And that's the news for today. Are you interested in playing a Star Wars space dogfighting game? Or will you wait for one of the big projects from Bioware, DICE, or Visceral Games? Let us know in the comments. Then check out roosterteeth.com tomorrow, where we'll stream our gaming podcast, The Patch, live for our sponsors.